Eaters. So, I was speaking to a friend today, and he was a little bit upset. He said his girl found him on a Facebook group that's called Is That Your Man? Or something similar to that. Her comment was, if you're looking to have a good time, nothing serious, this is your guy. Post pictures of his place. Uh, post pictures of him we have to hold ourselves more accountable because a person can only do, do what you allow them to do and if you don't set boundaries then you're always going to be God so the thing is you can tell another woman hey what this guy did but maybe he just wasn't that into you because he's not that into you doesn't mean he, it's going to be the same way with someone else. So. The week is has already got a jump start on me. I'm moving the best way that I can. I'm doing the best that I can. It has been crazy. It is one of those weeks where you can actually tell if you have a lifetime partner and what I mean by saying that is you can't judge a person when everything is good you have to judge a person when things are going wrong how do they respond are they supportive how do they you know um, interact with you and how do they interact with loved ones going you may be going through something with so it's one of those weeks I'm gonna bring you in on it but for today, the agenda is already starting late. So I have a wedding. My girlfriend's father has gotten married. I have a festival that I'm trying to attend. And my daughter was in the emergency room last night. So that's making me late to everything, but I'm still going to try to get off everything that I'm trying to do. Stick with me. Okay, so this is the outfit. Um, it's just a cute little t-shirt with fringes, uh, some shorts that come above my knee. I have a sandal on with a strap around it. Cute little couple necklaces, um, some earrings. And this is the look for the festival. I'm going to run into my girlfriend's father's wedding and that's the first mission. I'm now maybe an hour and a half late, but I do just want to congratulate, show my face and um, show some love. So let's see if I can make it there before they leave. Parking is scarce. 
just parked in a parking lot, a work parking lot, and I'm about to walk over there. Yay, I made it. St. Albans, 2302. This is the street that Cole lived on in Six Six Cent, the movie with Bruce Willis. Hey, Bruce. I'm about to go see the church, so let's go check it out. So I was trying to go to the church to show y'all the church on Six um, Cent, the movie with Bruce, and a damn rat ran across. I done did rats in New York, and now I've done rats in Philadelphia, and Philly's rats is long, like, like a long turd. Not interested. Definitely not interested. Please. Here's the red doors, here's the church. Ironic thing is it's now an apartment building. Okay, so I came out here to close the vlog and say good night. Um, let me see, let me find a place, a space over here. Oof. God, son, what a day. So just, what a day. So I came up here to close the vlog. The festival was nice. It was a lot of people. I should have wore sneakers. I wore slides and my feet, or just like one knee is just like, oh my God, you is, Retarded, don't do this again, <laughs> wear sneakers. Um, a lot's going on, my mom called. They do need me to uh, take her, sh my mother shopping. So I'm going to probably go home. I'm not gonna spend the night out. Um, the night is fairly young, but I'm gonna turn it in. I'm gonna go grab something to eat and uh, try to get some good rest tonight so that I can take her and, and like kind of be somewhat myself tomorrow. Um, what I could say about a festival is, is a really good night, a nice place to go when you're dating someone. So you can see how they act around people and in certain situations, like when they run into people, do they introduce you or do they not? Or do they, you know, how do they introduce you? Um, tells a whole nother story. So I think that that's, um, something that I would suggest not to skip out on. Um, it's, it's really sheds light on the individual. This week has been um, busy to say the least. I think I have maybe a date planned um, this week. Uh, I have a phone call coming in from someone that I know from out of town. So those are all things to come. Um, so those should be fun. I'm gonna share those with you. But uh, 
in regards to getting to know someone and and really knowing how they are like i would say uh, that a festival is a nice place um to get to know a person and you really have to see a person under pressure because you don't know hey if they run into their ex their baby mom all all kinds of stuff like that um happens what are some places that you guys feel like is a good place to take a date to really kind of learn them and so you can op well not really kind of learn them but just to observe how their their energy is when they're around other people with you because i think that's a big thing i've been in all kind of situations where I've been walking behind the person and I, I feel like, you know, there and he was in the front making faces like, no, she about to wow out, like she about to black out. And, you know, I, I held my lips shut, let him know later, I seen that, I, I seen that. That didn't go over my head, you know? Um, but things like that, I think is really good to identify, keep it in your back pocket. And that's one of those things that you can be like, hey, listen, this is a deal breaker. This is not, this is this is not flowing with my non-negotiable, negotiable. So, you know, it's up to you. So like I said, I'm about to go get something to eat. I want to close the vlog out um, t today and, um, I'll talk to y'all in the AM.